So this question comes from Todd H. I am 47 years old and I'm interested in making a career change in the information technology field. In your opinion, is this crazy at my age? If not, where should I start? I do carry a full-time 45 hour per week job, so I'm interested in an online program. Is there a school or program that you can suggest? There are so many options out there and I'm not sure of the best place to start. Um, oh, you're 47 years old and you want to start in IT? Um, I don't know if it's crazy. I would think twice about it. I would question why you want to get into it now, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of people want to get into IT because they have all these dreams about what they think uh, the, the life of an, a geek is. Um, and what they think a life of a geek is and what the life of a geek actually is has nothing to do uh, with one another. Um, you know, one of the reasons that I'm happy to sit here and do my little YouTube channel is because I really hate getting called on Sundays. I really hate getting alarms at midnight. I really hate having to worry about systems that are down and literally hundreds or thousands of employees that can't do what they're supposed to do and it all rides on my shoulders. Um, I'm one of those. I've been there. I've done that and it sucks a ball sack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Um, it's one of those things you have to think about. Like I remember like back in the day and being a young person and making quite a bit of money doing IT and then I actually broke down like what my hourly salary was. So compared to other people my age, I was doing really well but then when you figured I was working like six 60 plus hours a week, you realize that essentially, if I was doing the job my buddies were doing, only doing that 60 hours a week, I would probably end up making more money. So it's like, if you look at the whole, if you look at just the paycheck, it looked like I was doing really well. If you actually broke it down into hours, um, I probably could have been a construction laborer and and done about as well, right? So a lot of things in the, in the normal IT world, they're not quite what you think they are. And going in at 47, it, it raises a lot of red flags about why do you really want to do this, right? Um, so I don't think you're crazy. Um, I would suggest you really think if this is what you want to do. Again, I, I've talked about this a lot. Um, I hang out with a lot of different types of business people. Again, my peer group is business owners. It's not employees and wannabes and all that kind of stuff. It's actually business owners. And let me tell you, there are a lot of ways to make money. Like there's this idea in the modern world, like the way to, the, the way to riches is through technology. And it just ain't so. I mean, it can be. Don't get me wrong. It can be. Uh, but it's not like this is the way you have to go. If I was 47 years old and I was looking for a career change, I would go medical. I would go medical in a heartbeat. If I, if I, if I wasn't sure, if I wasn't sure, I would rather go medical. I'd rather go be a nurse. Uh, I'd rather go be a physician's assistant. Um, I would rather medical... Medical has a nice, nice future in front of it that makes a lot of sense. Technology doesn't, because um, what you have to realize, like if you go into a lot of these other professions, um, once you get certified, you're certified. Once you're a licensed practicing nurse or something like that, uh, you have to continue uh, with your uh, continuing education, but essentially that's what you are. As long as you do your however many continuing education credits, you are that, you demand a certain amount of salary, and it's pretty good. The problem is in the IT world, man, you can get an MCSE, and three years from now be be irrelevant, be basically worthless. I've seen this happen a lot where people are at the top of their game, they're making six figures, they're absolutely awesome, and the tech, technology that they support disappears, and then they're screwed. They're basically going back to square one. Um, so I'd really ask, I'd really ask, is this really what you want to do? Again, I'm not, I, I love technology, I really do. I love technology, you see me play with it all the time, um, but... Just because I love technology doesn't mean I believe everybody should do it. Again, one of, one of the, the things that makes me lose my mind with like the president that I voted for, I will admit to that, um, is when I see like even the president go up and start talking about how everybody needs to code. What the hell is that? That is like the stupidest effing thing I've ever heard in my life. Not everybody needs a code, right? Not everybody knows how to do accounting. Not everybody knows how to do financial management. Not everybody knows how to be a first responder or do medical care. So if people don't understand those things, then why do they need to code? Right. I, I would I would argue before we start teaching people to code, we should start teaching people financial management first. Like Every citizen of the United States should understand the difference between stocks, bonds, options, um, index funds, all that kind of stuff, right? Because that that actually is going to be very valuable for them at the end of the day. Whether or not they know what a function or a variable is, 
Uh, right. But again, one of the problems we run into in the modern world is geek, you know, IT stuff, tech stuff is sexy. You know, Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, these are the rock stars nowadays. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't mean it's for everybody. It doesn't mean it should be for everybody either. So what I would argue really, if, if I was looking at a 47 year old that really had to make a life change and get into a better job, I would argue medical. Medical is the way I would go. Again, nurse or, or whatever else. Um, if you're like, yeah, that's nice, Eli, but I really want to go into technology, what I would suggest is that you look into something like project management. Project management is probably going to be your better bet. Again, because especially when you're new in technology, you have to get elbow deep and do a lot of stuff, and it, it it's a grind. Um, I know a lot of people, when they see my videos, they think I'm coming off as like an asshat or an asshole or a douche. And what I try to keep explaining to you guys is this is our field right if you if you can't handle me on this video just 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 stop just stop this is our field our field is type a personalities who only care about getting done what they need to get done and really don't give two craps if you get hit by a bus tomorrow right if you get hit by a bus the only question they're gonna ask is who's gonna replace you that's gonna be about it i mean it really is like um i mean it, it's so bad like you guys don't even get you don't get how brutal this field can be um like september 11th so i was working at the enterprise company uh for you know doing the tech stuff uh on september 11th on september 11th sitting there watching the planes go into the twin towers the whole nine yards um and like the tvs were on because they had news stations on and we're all like dumbfounded as everything you know the buildings crashed and, and all that and literally we had the director of the company of the that that the, the branch or whatever walk in and he looked around at everybody and said okay uh the u.s got attacked today obviously the telephones and all that aren't working so i want you guys to go home uh get your head straight and then i want you to be back in here tomorrow at 100 percent like literally like september 11th didn't effing phase these people and and, and i can't even I, I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Even when I say that, it sounds like, oh, you're, you're being a little, it's, it's not. You don't understand. The reason that business shut down for half a day wasn't because they really cared about September 11th. When September 11th happened, it was because all the phone systems for the entire country kind of went spastic. And they said, well, nobody's going to get their work done today anyway. So go home and then come back tomorrow at 100%. Go and that is literally what was expected. I literally, I had my man, I had my my manager on the line. So I, again, I was a geek. I was a regional support person. I had my manager on the line, and when I was talking to him, I just had that dumbfounded. Like I was just talking to him in that dumbfounded way. You talk when you're dumbfounded. You know, like when you see something like that happen, and you're thinking about what what the, what it's going to mean for the future and all that. And literally, I swear to you, I swear to you, my manager was on the phone with me, and he said, uh, wh "What's wrong? You, you just seem really out of it." I was like, um, "Did you just watch the twin towers come down?" Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I was like, um, <laughs> isn't isn't that isn't that enough? Um, um, biggest attack on American soil in history. A little dumbfounded here, right? And uh, and so that really, I mean, that is really what our field is like. So um, so I'm not really sure uh, if it's a smart idea um, to be on the that base level. You know, being the CCNA, being the MCSE, uh, even the programming stuff, where you really you have to be on top of it. You have to do your job. Um, so what I would probably argue, if you really want to do it, is go for like the project manager position. Um, and go from there. As far as what school to go to, I would I would almost never recommend an online school. This is something that I say again and again. I don't believe in online schools. And a lot of people argue with me and that's nice. Fine. You are right. With every argument you want to make, let us just say you are right. And I'm going to toss in what I'm going to say here. It doesn't matter honestly how good the online school is. Right? And that's why what what but what? what? Right. Uh, one of the issues that you run into with doing the online school, and this is what I see a lot, is a lot of people want to go to online schools because they think it'll be easier. They think they'll be able to work it around their schedule and all that kind of horse crap. And what you find out in the real world is that they don't. When you have a class that you actually have to show up to, uh, you're more likely to, in fact, show up to that class. When you have an 
online class uh, that you have to turn on once or twice or three or whatever times per week. It is just so easy not to turn it on. Or you turn it on and it's a really dull, dry, horrible lecture and you start going to sleep or you start doing other things. Um, it's just, it doesn't focus your attention the way that a normal classroom class does. Beyond that, you don't have the interaction with the other people in the class. You, you don't get to, you don't get to talk to other people to, to hear what they're doing. You don't get to discuss your own ideas. You don't get to toss things back and forth. And that is, that is, that is, is massively valuable. I would probably argue that that component is about, is, is at least 50% of what the college degree is about, is about actually interacting with the other people. And so if you're online, you just don't get that experience. Uh, so I would argue against online schools. If this is really what you want to do, go to an in-person school. And I know you're going to give me a lot of excuses here. And as I will say, from the bottom of my heart, figure it the hell out. If you can't figure out how to go to a real physical school, meh, Again, you're scaring me about whether or not you really should change things up at all. Um, so those are my thoughts there. I know I'm not really excited about that, but um, I'd say medical. Again, I'm interested in making a career change in the information technology field. Why? Why? Think you're going to make a lot more money? Think there's think there's some, some, some gold at the end of that rainbow? Some, some magical lucky charms? There's not. There really isn't, right? Um, it's a hard career. It's a tough, demanding, brutal career, uh, especially if you're doing it well. Um, and it's probably not the best option for most people, to be honest with you. So I would argue, I would honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I would argue if you're interested, I would say take a look at the medical professions. I think the medical professions will do you better at the end of the day.